now we are going to talk about a transaction ME2B which is purchase order by requirement tracking number. So tracking number is something that you can populate it while creating a purchase order or it can be taken from uh, from the uh, work order or from the uh, from the purchase acquisition also. So if we double click here and here we will just take out the plant here and we'll take purchase organization and we'll execute we'll show you what is the tracking number here so if you notice here if you scroll to the right okay if i scroll to the right there would be a tracking number field so track here so if you double click on it and i uh, probably have to click here from here it takes me there so if i go here and this is the tracking number okay so this is a very good example because if you see the we have a purchase acquisition now and this is the trend so if i double click on it okay it will take me oops function will be started in a new session probably i'm running out of session let me close one close one and so generally in SAP you have maximum uh, six session okay so I'm running out of session so let me close this let me close this and let me close okay now it came <laughs> so here if we notice okay so if I see this is the item purchase position number and here is the tracking number so it flows from the from the purchase acquisition to here and if i notice there is no this is a material uh, so this is a material period so if i see the valuation so 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 there is no the the work order has not been created from here so the system okay kick me out the system so let's see probably there's some problem with the internet okay uh, so let's see okay is there a problem sometimes there is problem so at the end of the day you need internet to connect okay yes now it's connecting okay so now i'll just go here and i click login okay see these are things that happens in real life world so it's good in the training also you have some issues because you might say oh uh, my internet died it was not part of the part of the training so here we were doing this purchase orders by tracking number and I execute and I was playing with this one okay so if I double click on this and here and if I go here to the right the tracking number so here you can see the PREC okay so from here it opens the PREC and from here you can see what is the tracking number so first the PREC gets created and then the PO gets created uh, let me see whether in the goods receipt also you have a tracking number or not generally it should be there also mm. here somewhere here it would be somewhere here purchasing group general document info entered by and vendor uh, if you have here group purchasing group is there general and material so here uh, no partner nope so let's see so from here you can find so now the tracking number is recipient is there it's the tracking number so the tracking number doesn't come here for some reason i was thinking the tracking number will be here 
So if I go back, so this is the uh, goods receipt and this is the invoice related to this. Okay, so if I click on this, it will take me to the invoice. Okay, so so basically from from the PO we went to the goods receipt, we went to the invoice, and all through this tracking number. Now let's see this PO number. Uh, where the tracking number probably there is no PDEC associated with it. Okay, so this would be a perfect scenario. So here, if you see, there's no PDEC. So the tracking number is from here. Okay, while creating the PO, we created the tracking number. So let me see. Let me. Can I change? It's in approval. It can only display it, not edit it. So it's in approval. That's why it cannot change it. Who? Let me see. Mm, can I change some other tracking number? Uh, I want to change and see whether the tracking number gets updated or not. So here, this is the same thing. So it's in approval. Okay, everything is in approval. Let's see. I want to show that we can change it. So if I go here, I click and I go to transaction ME29N or ME29N and here I put this view number and I'll get the uh, design you can only display not edit it. Oops. Here also I cannot change it. That's that's strange. Let's see whether we can change it through workflow. So go here execute this is in process so let's see please release go here if you have authorization in SAP you can do a lot but if you don't uh, tough luck you know so here let's see we are trying to do something so I'm in execute mode user currently processing 437 so I think they are getting mad at me because I'm processing it uh -huh. let's see now now it's standard view let me see whether I'm okay now I'm there let me execute again so I'll go here I click execute okay so already what is order cannot be released okay so, oh, I came from here, that's why. Okay, let me go out completely. That's the problem, because I think I opened in change mode that much is out. So, that's why the problem. So, let me go in display. This is a fork, and you can only display it, okay? I'm outside. Okay, so I'll just click this, control Y, control C. And we'll go to ME29N and try to get it released. It says is in approval. Okay, that's fine. Workflow, workflow overview, and trying to make a, another way would have been I just created the a new purchase order so that should be another way let's see if you cannot do it here you can only display it not edit it okay so it's a warning message it's not a hard error guess what it is a hard error stopping me so let's do one thing. There is always a solution. There's another way to do things in SAP. So we we'll go. We we'll create a new purchase order. Okay, and we we'll use this document overview on. Click here, purchase order. Uh -huh, that is my purchase order number. Purchase orders. And here I'll execute. And I'll click create oops and I'll just do one line so here I'll try to change the tracking number so track will put one three one three we'll save it so 
once we save it, it will generate a purchase order number. So it's saving. So this this is this is pretty useful because here we are checking some purchase order with tracking number, and then we I want to show you some purchase order where the tracking number changes or we create a brand new purchase order and the table the that report gets updated. So it's saving. Okay. They're based on the configuration that this system has. Uh, it will take some time. So in the meantime, we'll just go to 432 and we'll see what are there for this one is a track. Yeah, there's no real thing. Now, if I go here, it's still saving. Oops, it's still saving. It's a lot of, it's a lot of time to save. So here, and if I see this one was with the stuff, can I check what are the other things that are available? There is the info record field, which is pretty useful. If I double click on the vendor, probably it will take me to the vendor record also. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's strange. Mm, let me try this one. It doesn't take me. Or probably it's opening. Uh, and I'm hitting on and on the same thing. So this is taking, okay, this got created, 474. So if we click on this, this is the purchase order number. So this got created, good news. Now we'll see whether this shows up or not. So we can see here, we can see from, can I put the tracking number here? Requirement track 1313. And we will function F8. And there is our purchase order number that we got created. So if we double click, this is pretty slick and you can use it. Uh, lots of companies use this for for doing the put this is the person who does the goods receipt or something. So this is pretty useful. So we showed how to find purchase order number by tracking number, how to create a purchase order number, and, and you can change the tracking number and see if you can see here the details comes. So what other fields you can use here apart from this? So it's mostly the tracking number. It's pretty, pretty nice and you can use it.